Seven reasons why Excel is great for database data bulk editing. Hi, my name is Jan Miller, founder of the company Kudutak. Go check me out at kudutak.com. You'll see that I have a blog focused on Excel with a specific focus or emphasis on Excel data intelligence and using Excel to update and edit and insert and delete data in SQL tables like SQL Server or another database vendor like Oracle DB2. Doesn't really matter as long as you have an ODBC connection or an LADB provider to it, uh, you can use the same approach. All right, so why choose Excel for bulk database editing? It facilitates the overall bigger picture of the data. Um, all in one familiar sheet, it gives you the, the data situational awareness. Um, so, you know, often when you, when you have to go through data and, and say clean up, say customer records, uh, in your ERP system, you need to go, you know, through those one by one. And, uh, that can be cumbersome. And sometimes as you see the data in its entirety, you realize that, oh, you have some inconsistencies in, you know, some of the codes or, you know, whatever tags or different things that you use or maybe the format of your address. And uh, if you have that situational awareness of the data, then you can better, more effectively, you know, clean all the data at the same time. Um, and as we all know, you know, Excel gives you a very great way of doing that, you know, we're all familiar with Excel. Most of us are very comfortable with spreadsheets and it just gives you that ability to, you know, see the data in this big picture and then, you know, do the appropriate cleanups before you actually post the data back into Excel, uh, into SQL Server or, you know, your SQL tables of your database. So it also allows for the uh, project owner, you know, the owner of the data, um, to share the spreadsheet with other individuals, like in different departments, maybe, you know, maybe in the sales department, uh, one person, you know, is very familiar with the uh, contact information of customers and, you know, that person can deal with that part. You know, once that person is done with that part of the uh, cleanup, uh, you can shoot that over to the accounting department and they may know the credit limits uh, of the customers that's maybe, you know, in this list as well. So um, divide and conquer, signing out spreadsheets, you know, to these different people, really the same spreadsheet, you don't want to, you know, duplicate the effort. So send that same spreadsheet to different people as a project owner at the end of the day, you receive it back, you review it, give it a sanity check. If you're happy with it, you post back into the database and you can have a validation step as well. So if any questions come up, you can, you know, push that back to your, uh, you know, the, the staff members who's also working on this project under you. So it also separates the, uh, you know, the data cleanup work from your specific software. So in other words, having somebody in the sales department and having somebody in the accounting department, you know, help you clean the data through the spreadsheet means that they don't necessarily have to have licenses to log into the software itself. So it removes you it removes them from the software where they can, you know, so that you don't need the extra licenses for them or have license conflict, you know, user license conflict, or um, they can inadvertently, you know, do other things in the data as well in that software. So you get that separation. So then it really also, you know, eliminates all those additional uh, graphical user interface steps in a typical uh, situation, like uh, maybe a Salesforce application, you know, going through a web page, you need to step through them one by one, open up multiple forms, update the data, push it back, or, you know, in some cases you, you may have some ability to, to update things more in bulk, uh, but it, you may have to pay extra for that option, you know. So coming back to the big picture uh, approach 
uh, it also, you know, gives you the ability to, you know, take your batch of data and then, you know, simply validate it all uh, and, you know, do that sanity check uh, before you post it back into uh, the database. So one of the advantages of using Excel is you can, you know, have an archive or a backup of data. So in the pre-state, you know, before you make the changes and in the post-state after, you know, the changes have been made. And you can keep copies of that or archive copies and, you know, outputs, data dumps of the, uh, the snapshots of the data, so to speak say on a weekly basis, monthly basis, and just keep that safe. Um, so very easy and flexible way to, you know, track data changes and have backups of data. So copying data from source to destination is uh, a very feasible option uh, when you use uh, the Excel approach. And um, you can, you know, pull data from your master database and then insert that into your secondary database. So if you want to set up like say a test database uh, with that same data, then you know, Excel, at least the uh, the way that I'm going to show you how you can do it, like in the equipment maintenance utility, uh, will make, make that easy to uh, you know, move data. Using the uh, the spreadsheet approach to uh, you know update and clean data or clean data and prepare data, validate data before you actually put it back into the database, it gives uh, individuals that flexibility, uh, you know, to to sort data and filter data, and using the uh, built-in data validation capabilities of Excel to you know prepare a bulk of data and get it all ready in one blow. Um, you know, before it gets posted back into Excel. So that familiarity that we all have with Excel, the fact that everybody has Excel, um, you know, helps a lot. So those are uh, some of the advantages of using Excel as a bulk data editing tool. Um, if you like the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. It helps to feed the six cats that I have here. Um, also, subscribe to the channel and uh, click on that little bell icon thingy at the bottom. Uh, that way you get notified when I publish a video on this channel. Uh, so between that and subscribing to my mailing list on the kudutak.com blog, uh, will ensure that you, you know, uh, stay informed and be kept in the loop whenever I publish something new. What advantages did I miss that you think, uh, you know, are valid reasons uh, for using Excel as a, an ASCAL data editing tool? Or, you know, if you can think of reasons why not, uh, I'd like to hear from you either way. Please leave some comments. And, and if you have a question, I would be very happy to, uh, you know, respond. Um, thank you for your support, and I'm looking forward to doing the next video with you.